Here on the Colorado Plains, water is a scarce and valuable resource. Yet water can also be a destructive, eroding force, as we witnessed in 2005 when Hurricane Katrina ravaged southern coastlines. This event has challenged researchers to study why levees erode in storm conditions and how to prevent them from failing. Chris Thornton and his team at Colorado State University's Engineering Research Center have taken on this challenge and are working to build the world's largest wave simulator to test levee erosion. What we're talking about today is a, a project with the Army Corps of Engineers to look at the stability of levees, hydraulic stability of levees. So the Corps has asked us to build an overtopping facility. We'll put it right here at the base of Horsetooth Reservoir, adjacent to this steep slope where we'll simulate wave overtopping. We'll be able to simulate up to about an eight foot wave at a 14 second period, which is a very large volume of water that we'll be able to subject simulated levee surfaces to. Wave overtopping in storms causes the erosion of levees, which may lead to deadly flooding. Sometimes you have a condition where the water level is low, but you have waves now, storm-induced waves that are splashing and breaking over that levee, and you get pulses of water that come down the backside. It can be very destructive. What we saw in New Orleans was an effect of waves and surge overtopping the backside of levees. The levee needs to have a certain level of protection for the hydrodynamic forces that are going to be caused by the overtopping waves. So there are certain types of technologies that you can use in that condition and there are other types that may not be as appropriate. At this point we anticipate testing a soil bed and different types of vegetation that, that are commonly used in that area for a levee protection. The soil and vegetation will be prepared in trays in Mississippi and then transported to the ERC site for testing. It's funny to have a first a, a wave overtopping facility in the most landlocked part of the country and then a, a water facility in the middle of the desert essentially. So, But for a landlocked university, Colorado State has a lot to offer. Colorado State has had a world-renowned water program, hydraulics program for decades and the expertise that's that's been acquired here over the last 60 years is, is first class. Well, I'm most excited to get more involved with the wave overtopping because that's kind of a newer technology to our facility, and so that's the one that I'm most interested in. This has never been done, certainly never been done here before, and to my knowledge, not at this scale anywhere in the world. So to be part of something brand new, a little scary, but is extremely exciting.